Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moyen! So today you will learn four smart ways to improve your speaking skills. If you feel like you are not making progress with your spoken Luxembourgish, then this episode is going to help you improve your speaking skills for the Sprachentest, for example. I'm going to give you four smart and simple tips you can do every day that will improve your Luxembourgish oral expression and will help you to get unstuck and to do really well in your Sprachentest oral exam if that is your goal. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Dann los! So, dann los means then uh, let's get started. Tip number one, learn speaking by listening and immersing yourself in natural spoken Luxembourgish. Studying with a teacher is perfect and reading course books is necessary too. Most teachers will speak slowly and help you understand, correct your mistakes and be polite. However, people in the real world usually don't speak like most teachers do. They speak quickly, expect you to understand and respond quickly too. So it is essential that, as well as learning from materials designed for Luxembourgish students, that you also learn from the real world. Then it makes sense that you should learn to speak by listening to people speak and not by only reading words. And yet, so many people try to learn to speak through reading books or often reading aloud. And uh, we can see this in classrooms uh, around the world. But that will not help you to actually being able to use the language in conversations, at work, for example, in social gatherings or uh, in the oral exam. So you need to Immerse yourself in natural spoken Luxembourgish so you can communicate effectively in the real world and uh, in an exam. And also, very important, choose the things you really enjoy and you find useful. There are some opportunities, so not many, many, but some opportunities for language immersion. So you will find native speaker voices on the internet. Then I propose you should learn to speak by listening actively, actively, not passively, for example, to short items on the Luxembourgish radio stations or by listening to podcasts. There are nowadays several podcasts out there uh, to listen to uh, real Luxembourgish. And the benefits are that you learn natural spoken Luxembourgish, you learn the correct pronunciation, which is an evaluation criteria in the Spruch and Test oral exam, and you get used to the sound of the language, which is, uh, which is very important as well. So listen to spoken language to learn how to speak. That was my tip number one. My tip number two is repeat and juggle. So a great way to automate your vocabulary, that means you can use it automatically without thinking, is to follow this three simple step method. First you listen, then you repeat and then you juggle. Let's illustrate this with an example. Let's imagine you, you listen or you hear this phrase, mir gefällt Lützebursch. 
Mir gefällt Lützebusch means I like Luxemburg. And then you repeat it aloud. Mir gefällt Lützebusch. After that, you repeat it by changing one word and do this several times, changing for a new word each time. So play with the language and have fun. So you might say, <coughs> Mir gefällt Lützebusch gut. So now you have added one word. Mir gefällt Lützebusch gut. Or you can say, Mir gefällt London gut. Or you can say, mir gefällt London nicht gut. Okay, so I don't like London. You see, just by changing one word, or by adding one word, uh, you learn making sentences, you repeat, and then you will keep this in mind. So, mir gefällt means that you like something. Okay, mir gefällt Lützebusch, mir gefällt um, Mengwunning, so I like my home, for example. And finally, you repeat by adding or changing several words or juggling with the word order. So you might say, mir gefällt meng abisch. This means I like my job. But you can as well juggle and say, meng abisch gefällt mir. Okay, you start with meng abisch. Meng abisch gefällt mir. Or you can say, meng abisch gefällt mir immens gut. Meng abischt gefällt mir immens gut, means that I like my job very much. Another example. How would you say, um, I like your new glasses? So, I like, now you know, it's mir gefällt, and then dein neue Brill. So, your new glasses is in Luxemburgish dein neue Brill. Mir gefällt dein neue Brill. And then you can juggle here with the words. You can say, Dein neue Brille gefällt mir. Or, Dein neue Brille gefällt mir ganz gut. Okay? So that was tip number two. So listen, repeat and juggle. Tip number three is focus on chunks. So one of the best ways to increase your fluency is to focus on chunks. Now what is a chunk? A chunk is simply a piece of language, so maybe two, three or four words that are usually spoken together. Chunks appear almost everywhere in spoken Luxembourgish. Here are some examples of chunks. For example, zu mittisch essen. Zu mittisch essen means to have lunch. So learn these three words always together. And then you can make a sentence. Ich essen um zwillewauer zu mittisch. I have lunch at noon. Or ich trinken Kaffee. Do you know what this means? Ich trinken Kaffee? This means I have breakfast. So even if you don't drink a coffee or you just just drink a tea, we say a strenke coffee for saying I have breakfast. And then you repeat this, a strenke coffee, moyes um sieben hour, for example. Hmm? Another chunk, dat hangt off. Dat hangt off, it depends on. Hmm? Dat hangt off vom Wieder. It depends on the weather. So hang, learn this together, dat hangt off. Or to cycle in Luxembourgish means Ich fuhre velo. Ich fuhre velo. So I cycle. Sorry. I cycle is Ich fuhre velo. And to cycle is velo fuhren. Okay. So and this will never change. It will always stay like this. Or to... Um, to do a picture, to take a picture. In English you say to take a picture, but we say ein Foto machen. So literally we make a picture, ein Foto machen. So I, I take a picture is ich machen ein Foto. Okay. And the last chunk, which we often use, is with my family. This will always be mat menger famil. Mat menger famil. And now let's say that I have lunch with my family. 
How would you say this? I have lunch with my family. Yes, this is Ösch essen zu mittag mit meiner Familie. Ösch essen zu mittag mit meiner Familie. So you see, when you learn chunks, you no longer have to think about putting each word in place. You focus on putting the chunks in place and not single words. And this is easier, increases your fluency and will probably produce more accurate language. It's just like um, imagine building a wall brick by brick. It can be very slow. And then imagine you could build the wall layer by layer, each layer having chunks of three or four bricks. It is going to be faster and you will actually get a straighter, better wall. So instead of learning just individual words, focus on learning and practicing chunks. And now let's come to the last tip, tip number four. Push your comfort zone. <laughs> so when studying, we like to have a safe environment where we feel comfortable and happy studying. And that is a good thing. At the same time, when you do the Spruchentas oral exam, it is with a real person. Okay, The examiner is a real person that you don't know. You feel You will feel uncomfortable. You will be nervous and afraid of making mistakes, right? So it is really important that when you prepare for Spruchen test, speaking test, you get used to feeling uncomfortable. How can you do that? Simple. Just push your comfort zone. Do some Spruchen test speaking practice where you feel uncomfortable, such as joining a speaking class, finding a teacher online or engaging with others. Whatever it is, just start engaging with others and practice your Luxembourgish. After all, speaking Luxembourgish is all about communicating with others. And this is what we do and practice together in our Spruchentest prep classes, where we prepare people to the oral exam of the Spruchentest. Now, if you would like to learn with us and be best prepared for your exam in the Spruchentest, then reach out at info at luxemagischwissen.lu and schedule a free consultation call to discuss together how to best reach your goal. So push your comfort zone and you will see yourself slowly building your confidence as you speak. Well, that were my four tips. I hope that you find them um, useful and that you will apply them. Maybe not all of them, but some of them, especially the one um, tip number three to learn in chunks and the one number two repeat and juggle with the language. So, that is alles vier how. So, that's all for today. Um, uh, ich wünsche dir alles Gutes am neue Joa. So, I wish you all the best for the new year. Doch alles Gutes am neue Joa. Merci an Eddie.